How's it going guys? I have here on your screen a Concord HPQ90. It is a DBX2 noise reduction system. This Concord unit was originally paired with a Concord stereo system for an automobile, but I have modified it so that I can use it for my own purposes in an automobile, and not in a proprietary way, but more universally. So I have put these 3.5 millimeter cables on it. Doesn't that look good? I did a really good job, right? Very professional. And I also placed my own 12 volt power plug on there so that I can power it in my car. But my goal is to make a cassette to be played back in this little Walkman here. It's a WMEX152 with Mega Bass. I want to make a DBX cassette that will have more higher signal to noise ratio than a CD in my car. In fact, CDs only have 98 decibels of signal to noise ratio. DBX2, by design, has 120. At least that's what I found online. They could be wrong, but that's what I read. So how do you make a DBX cassette? Well, that's what we're going to have to do in order to utilize this and this in my car and have some awesome sound quality. So what I need first is this unit here, which you will see on my channel, as I did a review of it with the uh, NX40 DBX noise reduction system. And this little box allows you to encode your own DBX cassettes. So what is DBX? DBX is a little bit cooler than Dolby noise reduction, but it's also a little bit uh, more violent than Dolby noise reduction, at least on the, the Dolby B and C. It uses a very high compression technology and it makes cassettes that if you play them back without the decompression, they sound horrible, but with compression sound really good. So what I had to do here was uh, on the record play side is put this on DBX in. This box is connected directly to my cassette deck, which I'm about to show you. I have a Pioneer cassette deck, which you will see down here. It is the CT-W850R and also reviewed on my channel. Love this cassette deck. It has just got everything cool on it. Uh, it has a feature called Auto BLE and it will take a cassette and in this case my favorite kind of cassette which is a XL290. I'll take it out and show it to you here. So this is the XL290. This one I opened today brand new out of the package. So it's a uh, high bias position high cassette and what I do is I put it in my cassette deck and then I hit this little auto BLE button and what the deck will do is it will go through and it will set the uh, bias level and equalization specifically to this formulation of tape so even though it's just chrome which you know this deck does automatically select chrome it will automatically pick a bias level and equalization that matches this formulation of tape so it works really good with uh, you know normal bias tapes or any kind of bias tapes, even metal tapes. And of course, this machine has auto tape selector, so I don't have to tell it what formulation of tape I'm using. It knows that it's high bias tape. All right, so I'm going to bypass the built-in Dolby noise reduction. I'm just going to turn it off. And what I'm going to use as my source is some music from, from uh, YouTube, from the free music library on YouTube. If I can get this little guy to turn on here. So if you haven't discovered this yet, and you haven't used it in your YouTube library, uh, go ahead and check it out. It's youtube.com forward slash audio library forward slash music. And you can get free music there that you can use royalty free in your YouTube videos. So that way you can monetize them and uh, the record companies don't get mad at you or anything. Okay. So I already have one song downloaded and queued up, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, if you'll notice right here on this right uh, take-up wheel, there is white there. I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to hit record. And then I'm going to hit the play here. And I'm going to watch for that black tape to appear right there, and then I'm going to pause it. Okay. So we'll wait on that. There it is. And I'm going to pause it. That puts a little bit of leader at the front of the tape, so it doesn't just, you know, start recording at, a, at an awkward moment. All right, so then I'm going to go up here. I've already checked my levels. Sorry, I'm on my knees here in front of my stereo equipment, killing myself. 
All right, so I'm going to hit uh, play. Uh, whoops, no, let's hit record first. So I hit the little thingy there, and then I'm going to hit play here. That was a really bad cue, wasn't it? That was really bad. Can we run that back, please? Okay, let's do this again. Let's do it again. If you mess up, that's what's great about tape. You can start it over again. So this time, rather than pause it, I'm just going to hit record, hit play, and when I see the black, I'll start my recording. You guys ready for this? This is going to be great. There we go. All right, so right now we are recording an encoded DBX tape. Okay, see, I've got my DBX setting here. My cassette deck is hooked into this box, and then this box is hooked into my receiver. Okay. So I don't remember which song this is. Oh, there it is. It's uh, Silent Partner, I think it says. Oh, Chances? It changed again. Okay. And I'll go ahead and pause the video and we'll pick up in the automobile. Alright guys, we are now located inside of my Kia Soul 2013, which you can also see a review of on my channel. Uh, you ever notice that like, everything I show you is already on my channel? Anyway, uh, this, at least this Concord isn't already on my channel, so this is the first. Uh, so I've got my uh, Concord hooked up. You can see the little green light is on there. And uh, here's how the wiring goes. So I've got the auxiliary in going into there. And I've got my 12-volt connector here. And over here, I've got my Walkman. So are you guys ready for this? We've got our XL2 tape inside there. Let's hit play and see what this sounds like. So here we are, DBX noise reduction in the car. <laughs> So the next question is, what does this tape sound like without the Dolby or the DBX noise reduction going? Okay, without Dolby noise reduction, also we don't have that on here. So we're going to switch the decoder off, play our tape, and of course, if you don't know about cassettes, cassettes introduce a lot of noise and hiss. You're about to hear that. So here's what the tape would sound like if I didn't have DBX noise reduction. back on. Bye. Uh -huh. 
So there you have it, guys. We have demonstrated how to create a DBX encoded cassette and play it in our car via this Concord HBQ90 DBX2 noise reduction system played through this cheapy little Sony Walkman from who knows when, the WMEX152. So I appreciate you watching this video. Please share it, like it, leave a comment, leave a, a good comment or a negative comment, whichever you want. And uh, please subscribe and share this video with a friend. If I didn't already say that, I probably did. Thanks for watching.